Is it a hotel sheet? Is it a T-shirt? No one knows. T-shirt says H and M. Debatable says the rest of society. <laughs> Hey guys, Grace Helbig here. If you didn't know, now you know. You f***ing idiot. Just kidding. You have redeeming qualities. Tomorrow I am headed to San Diego Comic Con, which is... Comic Con in San Diego. And in a couple weeks I'll be going to VidCon in Anaheim. It is the season of the cons, or conventions. If you were unsure as to whether I was talking about prison inmates, they're always in season. I've been to a lot of conventions in the past few years, so I've developed some personal rules that have helped me handle conventions more effectively. So here are my 10 commandments. Yes, this is a video that I thought of the title for first. Thou shall have no other squads but thee. Commit to your nerd herd. There is strength in numbers. Get a group together and stay with that group, or at least factions of that group. Conventions can very quickly turn into the Hunger Game, and not just because the Hunger Games have a booth there, but because it gets very savage. You need alliances. Now that doesn't mean fight with other groups. Work together. Rue the day. My squad is me and a map of all of the most private bathrooms. Thou shall not take graven images with their idols. You're going to conventions, I presume, because you want to meet certain people, you want to take photos with certain people, but you need to really think it through. There's only so little time to be had with every person that you meet, so really commit to exactly what you want to do. Don't be wishy-washy, because you're going to end up with a sloppy floppy photo when you really want something she can fleek. I'm a narc trying to be a teenager. Know what kind of photos you want, be prepared to take them, have your phone out, your camera out, have your buddy that's gonna take the photos ready. Just make sure that you are setting yourself up for success. Set yourself up for success, not suckiness. My lactose sensitivity might not allow me to eat cheese, but I can speak cheese all damn day. And side note, if you're waiting in long lines, which is inevitable at a convention, and you're bored, why not listen to an audiobook? I'm just like what you hope that convention center is. Full of plugs! You know where this is going already. You are a very smart person, and that is why I enjoy you and your patience. Audible.com supports a lot of us YouTubers, so we support them by telling you if you go to audible.com slash grace, you can get a free trial. And why not listen to the audiobook of one of the potential YouTubers you could be meeting at one of these said conventions. For instance, I Hate My Selfie, Shane Dawson's book, which is also narrated by him on audible.com, which I think is the more fun way to consume all the stories that he has to tell because you get to hear him actually tell it and it's fantastic so highly recommend and if you go to audible.com slash grace again you can get a free trial so check it out thou shall not take the floor plan in vain have a plan have some general idea of where things are at the convention what time things are happening and how you can get to the most amount of things you want to get to in the easiest most efficient way possible. There's a lot of salmon swimming upstream at conventions, so make sure you're the salmon on the jet ski. Get right up there. Remember to keep holy the Sabbath. Have a rest day or a rest period at some point during the day. Give yourself a chance to recharge physically and technologically. Honor thy mother and thy father. I know that you refer to all of your idols as moms and dads, when you want to meet them at conventions, just be respectful. Everyone's a human being, turns out, even if they're dressed like robots and non-human things. There's a human being uh, sweating under all of that makeup and pleather. So let's treat everyone with respect, huh? Thou shall not kill on both a physical and nasal level. No murdering at conventions, that's never good. Also, it is up to all of us to maintain our own levels of hygiene. Just like a campsite, it's up to all of us to maintain a clean area. And when we are all in such an enclosed space together, let's all be responsible for that. Let's uphold the sanctity of scent to tea. Titties. There'll be a lot of titties, probably. Respect those two. Thou shall not commit adult. -ry. I'm not talking about adultery, I'm talking about adult. Remember to be a kid sometimes at these conventions. This is a place where you are supposed to experience that guiltless, limitless, childlike, unaffected joy. 
So let yourself do that. No one is too cool at these conventions. No one is cooler than anyone else. It just doesn't happen that way, I'm sorry. Even if your cosplay is cool dude 9000, no, sorry. You are not cooler than Iron Crotch. Nope. Thou shalt not steal. Don't steal. There's plenty of free swag. Also, sub commandment, thou shalt not heal. That's for me. Don't wear high heels, Grace. I know you're going to, so bring flats, uh, because there's a lot of walking and a lot of standing. And those of you that are considering wearing heels, if it's not part of your cosplay costume, I would create some sort of plan B for when your feet feel like sheet. Can't stop, won't stop, should stop, but can't. Thou shalt not bear false battery. Bring chargers! Thou shall not covet thy neighbor's goods or foods. Food can sometimes be a minimum at these conventions. So make sure you create some sort of plan for getting yourself nourished because you could end up in really long lines and fainting is not trendy. No. I know those goats tried to bring it back but, you know, keep yourself replenished. Also, I like to make sure that I have a convention emergency bag, which has just the bare essentials that I would need at any moment throughout a convention. In there, I like to keep chargers, hydration of various sorts, resources financially, you gotta be able to pay for things, either have cash or credit cards on you, and ID, sanitizer, is always great because germs are truly the real face of evil at these conventions. And technology. All the tech stuff I need that's not a charger. Phone, camera, etc. Or tampons. Even if you don't need tampons, someone else might need tampons. And at a convention like this, tampons become very important currency. That's the one part that they didn't really cover in the Hunger Games. But you better bet that Lenny Kravitz designed something for that in that Mockingjay outfit. There you go, there are my 10 commandments. I hope that these are helpful for you if you're going to any of the conventions. And if you are, I'll see you there. Call me out if I smell real bad. I don't know. And in the past few years, my landline is ringing. But what is the weirdest part of that? That it's ringing or that I have a landline? No one has that number. Wouldn't this be funny if this is how Scream started if she just never picked up the phone? Please stop. I don't have an answering machine. This could happen for hours. Oh my god. I'll give you three more rings and then I'm gonna think about doing something. One, two. Why would you still be calling? I clearly don't want to talk to you. If I picked up the phone now, you'd be concerned that either I was hurt or kidnapped and it took me a long time to get to the phone. Obviously didn't want to change my mind. Now I'm talking to you on the phone and this is awkward for both of us. This is a personal attack. I came here to have a good time and I'm just feeling attacked right now. Please stop, ghosts. Who knew when I got the internet landline package because it was cheaper, this would happen. Comcast knew. Now, text me. But I feel full of a lot of anxiety right now.